James Saunders will continue in our series with St. Louis Community College. We're still at the Forest Park campus. I'm with Laura Pellegrini. Yes. And what department are you with? I am with the sonography program, so the Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program, and I am the program coordinator. So what does it mean, stenography, medical stenography? Yeah, so sonography is in the medical imaging world, so it's under the radiology umbrella, so it's related to CT, X-ray, MRI, things like that, but we're our own entity. So when you think of pregnant moms that get an ultrasound, it's related to that, but we teach all different kinds of ultrasound, including abdominal, cardiac, vascular, pediatrics, things like that. So there's a lot more to it than scanning babies only. So tell me, how did this, the cardio part, what, what, is, what happens with cardio? Yeah, so that's technically called echocardiography. Um, so James Winling, he is the one that's in charge of that. Um, and it is just cardiac ultrasound, so it looks at all the valves and all the chambers of the heart. You can do that on adults or kids. There's a really cool mixture there. Um, and you're evaluating normal anatomy, disease, all kinds of amazing things. Why does it sound like it's taking the place of the red dye? How they, you remember how they used, to, they used to years ago shoot the red dye to the sea? Does that oh, take gosh. the place of it? Well, so it's really nice because, yes, it can get some really awesome images of the heart, and there's no radiation involved with it. And every once in a while, they do have to add contrast there to be able to see the walls very well. Um, but generally speaking, it's a really awesome alternative to interventional imaging because it's just done, you know, bedside. It's really easy. There's no radiation. Patients tend to like that over getting an MRI or something like that. So I'm a brand new student. Convince me to sign up for your program. Yeah, absolutely. So I always say that I really enjoy my job, and I'm not just saying that. Um, it's a really awesome career field. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You know, you can be hands-on and be scanning, but there's also some really awesome things where you can go into medical device sales, where you can bring a lot of really awesome knowledge into that. Um, you can go into the education sector like I have. You can go into management. You can be in an outpatient center, a hospital, a doctor's office. There's a lot of things you can do with it and I always say ultrasound's really awesome because you're very hands-on with the patient you're not where you're right next to them it's not like oh, I'm gonna press you know this button and then I'll be on the other side of the wall you're right there with them um, so I've always really enjoyed that because I think you make a really deep connection with the patients now how long is this program yeah, so our program here at Forest Park is a 16-month program. It's a full-time program, so it's a 40-hour week commitment. That's a mixture of being in class for lectures, being in lab, learning hands-on with the instructors, and then also go to what we call clinical, which is out in the hospital and outpatient setting. So a little bit of mixture of actually practicing on real patients with supervision of sonographers, and then learning from us as well. So, so as a first-year student, my first six or seven months is basically in the classroom. Yes and then we start moving into more technical things? So it's actually pretty unique in our program and pretty awesome. You actually pretty much go to clinical right away. So the first semester, you know, we take the first month or so to really get you acclimated into how things go and then you pretty much go right into it. And what's awesome is out in the field, they know that you're new, you're fresh, you have a lot to learn. But what's awesome about sonographers is they're always willing to teach others. So there's a really big, um, embracing of new students so pretty much you get right out into the clinic right off the bat and you're there the whole time until you graduate so so I've graduated what happens next yeah well so what's awesome is right now we actually have a class that's about to graduate in December as they always do you start in the fall and then you graduate you know the following December um, and every single one of them already has jobs lined up and they're interviewing things like that which is really awesome um, and there are so many jobs right now. You know, I keep talking to sonographers who've been doing this a long time, and this is the most jobs they've ever seen. Um, I think there's a mixture of things going on there, but I do know that sonography is one of the fastest growing fields in healthcare. So that's really helping to get these seniors out there and getting jobs. There are a lot of jobs to go around, which is awesome. So it sounds like this is a demand. For oh us. yes, very much so, very much so. So what is the community college doing to get the word out to get these kids in here? Yeah, so one of the things that I know that we try to do is a lot of tours with high school students. So we have high school students kind of come in and just get an idea of what sonography is because mm -hmm. a lot of people think, oh, you know, only babies, which that is part of it. And some people do that and love it, which is amazing. Um, but there's a lot more to it. So actually how I got into it was that I had um, 
knew I wanted to go into healthcare, but I didn't know what. And my mom actually had to go get a gallbladder ultrasound. And this was when I was a senior in high school. And she came home and she's like, that lady who did my ultrasound was so nice. And she said, you should look into that. And now here I am. So it's funny how sometimes just a little interaction can change your whole future. So I definitely try to connect with the high school students. Absolutely. We got to get Jason to get some more communication out there about this. Don't you believe that? <laughs> always. We always got to make it happen, <laughs> hey, right? If everyone wanted to do ultrasound, I would teach everyone. That's how much I love it. So. <laughs> We've been here at the St. Louis Community College, the Forest Park campus. We'll be right back after this.